Hi, I'm Marge Charmley, and I'm from St. Paul. Welcome to Buy Cities, a program by, for, and about the Buy Plus community and our friends and allies. My co-host, Dr. Anita Kozan, is not here tonight, but will be joining us for future shows. If you haven't ever watched us before, we are the longest running show in the history of the world on bisexuality. If you have watched us before, welcome back. We love having you. And as you've heard me say, one of my favorite things about being on this show is that I get to meet interesting people. And the lovely woman that will be joining us shortly, she's here already, but I'm going to be introducing <laughs> her. Um, there's two parts to this story. One is that we never know when we're going to run into an ally. We find them in the most interesting places. And in this particular instance, I met our guest at my car dealership. And I happened to be walking around, and I had a Pride t-shirt on. And she walked up to me and said, wow, Pride? I have a son who's transgender. And he was in high school at the time, so I'm thinking, wow, i got to get her on the show. Now, this was two or three years ago. And so we've been working this a little while, and now she's finally ready to be here. More importantly, though, or as importantly, is that many people who are marginalized in our society don't have the opportunity to grow up and learn survival skills in their family. Uh, with the exception, you know, if people are women, for example, we learn things in our family about how to be a woman in this world, or, or if we're a person of color, we learn from our family. And there are a couple marginalized groups, the GLBTQ families are uh, people. We kind of have to learn that because most of the time we don't come from families. And as we come out, so does our family. So this story is about a mother's love for her transgender son. And Jeanette Lawson is here tonight to talk about her son, Jacob, and her story and her journey, which I think is very educational. And it's a story of love. And we happen to be filming this on Valentine's Day. So love is love. And it's a great, great opportunity. It Jeanette, is. thank you so thank much for being for on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah, just so yeah, glad yeah, to be yeah. here, finally. We've yeah. talked so much about this. Yes, we have. And I still remember the day that you walked up to me. I remember it, too. Yeah, and it's like you saw, I must have had a rainbow shirt on yeah. or something. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, but you're so welcoming and so friendly and so open to conversation. So that was nice, too. Well, and you just kind of popped out with, and I have a transgender son. And, wow, okay, cool. Let's talk about this. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of him. Well, yes, as you absolutely. should be, and, and, and we'll be seeing pictures of him. Yes. And he's a little bashful, but he's, he's bashful, here tonight. But yeah, he but is that's here. okay. He and is he's here. adorable, as is his girlfriend. Thank so. you. So yeah. I have to be on my best behavior because he's watching me. I know. And they're, they're off the set and they're playing <laughs> they tricks with you. So, you know, if you see us doing funny things, at least Jeanette, it's because her son <laughs> is over there making faces and stuff. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. So, wow. I know. You know. What, what a lucky kid Jake is to have you as a mom. Oh, that's so kind of you to say. I, I actually feel the reverse, how lucky I am to have had him come into my life. Wow. Absolutely. So where would you like to tell Jacob's story, and then let's talk about your story. Jacob. Ja okay, so Jacob, and we talked about this just recently. Yes. Jacob's actually a, a, a twin. Uh-huh. So he's a fraternal twin. A fraternal, okay. And I, it was interesting. I was telling Marge recently about how this came about, I was told that I was having twin boys. Uh, the and, ultrasound, right? And the ultrasound. Right, okay. And the doctor kept saying that. I kept thinking, I have two other boys. Now I have two boys. Well, I know boys, so this yeah, is yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. All right. Um, I didn't feel in either way. It uh -huh. was fine with me. So for months, I'm planning for this, these two boys. Yeah. It's so exciting. And then because of my age, we had to do the amniotic testing okay, all right. um, just to make sure everything was fine because I was uh, at risk and we were be traveling and moving to another state. Um, then we find out by surprise, it's a girl. It's a girl. Went, what? Well, yeah. I was planning for another boy. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, girl. I don't know girl. I haven't done girls yet. Uh -huh. So. Um, very exciting, We're, but fine. I'm fine. All right. Um, so, so you're a cool mom. I, I mean, just everything's you just go fine. With it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, we have to go with it, or, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. or we lose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, everything. I didn't know Jake was um, healthy, big baby. Um, everything was fine. Um, we didn't have any issues. He wasn't as verbal in the beginning. Um, he okay. relied on his twin a lot. So, oh, okay. We always thought of it as that twin talk. 
Okay, um, and sure. they had their own language, but um, his brother would always speak up for him and advocate for him. And uh -huh. yeah, we just, it was normal to us. Sure. Um, but the one thing that was a little different was, and I just thought it was just his personality. That's Jake, we'll just go yeah, with that. Yeah. Um, Jake would never, ever, ever wear anything female. It had to be boy clothes. Always. And you were talking about when he was like a year old, right? Tiny, tiny, Just tiny. fussing about having fussing. a... Fussing. 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 Pitching Absolutely. A fit. Pitching a fit. Pitching a fit. At one year old. At yes. One, about having a dress and on. And again, I kept thinking because I'm not experienced with twins, I thought it, because I hang out with twin moms and we communicate okay. and we thought, I just thought it was because he's got two older brothers and he has this twin brother, and oh, they're all okay, wearing pants okay. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Why yeah, am I having yeah. to get all this stuff oh, on sure. me? Oh, sure, okay, that didn't makes like sense. Didn't like it. I have fingernail polish. Why don't they? Didn't yeah. want it. So I didn't think it was strange at all. Yeah. And I, so Jake was just who he wanted to be. He wanted yeah. to wear clothes like his brother. You can wear clothes like your brother, yeah. that's fine. Didn't have to go out and get an I extra didn't have to go, set, right? yeah, 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 we go shop and get the same. So yeah, yeah. they wore twin clothes, but they were boy clothes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, it was fine, it yeah. never bothered me. Uh -huh. um, he never played with dolls, never did the girl thing, uh -huh. um, just always um, pitching a fit if I bought a dress for a special occasion, it would last maybe five seconds on his body. Right, Jake? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So Jake's <laughs> Five also. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. And how about the hair? Was that an issue at all? Hair or? was an issue. Okay. Um, we couldn't do ponytails, bows, okay. or anything. All right. No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't even brush his hair. Hated oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, I come to find out though later when when Jake finally did, Jake was more of a tomboy, um, and he related to animals. Oh. Um, he still has a great kinship with animals, and okay. hopefully we'll get into that profession. Um, oh, all right. But he was he was always very helpful, very kind, um, very energetic. Um, I didn't think anything. Uh -huh. um, it was, and Jake didn't even know. Yeah, that was yeah. what was interesting. I mean, we were just talking sure. about that. He didn't even know. Yeah. Um, so was it when he was um, he was in, going into high school, and before then, Jake had a lot of anxiety, and I didn't discuss that. He's had a lot of anxiety through school age. Um, kindergarten sure. was horrific. All elementary school, um, we had psychiatrists, we had teachers, paras. Um, he had a lot of extra help because he had so much anxiety, and it, it was really painful as a parent yeah. to see him and to let him go every day. Oh, Preschool yeah. was hard enough when you let them go yeah, and they yeah, cry, yeah, but yeah. my poor child was crying all the way through oh, high school, and it yeah. was it was tragic. Yeah, it was absolutely tragic. Um, so I tried to get him as much help as I could that mm -hmm. way emotionally. Sure. Um, we didn't know there was some underlying causes as well. Uh -huh. um, he has he has learning delays, so he has an IEP and he was getting help. Um, and I really never thought there was anything else other yeah. than he needed edu you know extra help in school. Yeah. Once we got into high school, the anxiety heightened, and I know there's more of an awareness of our bodies oh, as yeah, teenagers. Oh, yeah, yeah, hormones and all that hormones kind of stuff. Yeah, that. adolescence, sure. So we just thought, and talking to the doctors, things were just, we even went to the Mayo. Oh, my goodness. We were trying to get more diagnosis, seeing if we can help him, because yeah. he was struggling and missing so much school. Oh. But then one day, all these doctors, all these professionals, uh -huh. all these teachers, I mean, we've gone everywhere. I have such a book on this child, and he's the one that discovers what's going on. No and he kidding. tells us. He tells you. Yes. And yes. how did, you know, we talked a little bit offset mm -hmm. about how Jacob came to find out about Jacob. It was very... Um, it, it wasn't like he was, what's wrong with me? There was never drama like that. Okay, he never right. did that. He was just, Jake was always very chill. All right. Um, and just, you know, life's okay. Well, this is me. It's cool. Right. Never questioned, never asked. Uh -huh. um, we watched um, Caitlyn Jenner. Okay. Was on the news everywhere and on every okay. magazine. Um, we were fascinated with the story. My heart broke because grew up, you know, admiring. Watching Bruce of Jenner. Of course yeah, we did, yeah, of course. Kind of Had that yeah. Wheaties box, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. I remember the Wheaties yeah. box. Yeah. So um, he was such an inspiration. So then my heart broke thinking about how hard, oh. uh, what a life for him. Um, but Jake was fascinated by this story. And, we, you know, we watched it. It was always on TV. And then it, it wasn't even expected. It one day just, Mom, I need to tell you something. And I said, well, what's that? And he goes, I'm transgender. And I went, oh, 
oh, okay. And it was just like this light bulb just went off on my head. Oh my and you goodness. just hear, it's, you just, your life just flashes before your eyes. And you're I'm like, oh, that's it. That's what this There's is. There's a missing that's piece. There's the a missing, missing link. Piece. Oh my goodness. All sake. that anxiety, all this stress, all this worry. He didn't even know. Yeah. He, he said, I was so afraid of telling you because I didn't know how you would react. And oh. I broke my heart again oh. as a parent. Yeah, you know, of course. We were, but I was thrilled to think, wow, and we even went to the Mayo and they couldn't come up with a diagnosis. <laughs> yeah, he was a kid that comes up with yeah, he, his own. That's knew. right on spot. Right on spot. So that was it. Wow. We went down, got his hair cut off, and we were buying clothes, and life was good. So you just went right with oh, the Oh, yes, flow. we did. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. And it's interesting um, with chance kids. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of signals that are there all the time that uh -huh. I wasn't seeing. Yeah. Um, going to you know the clothes is one thing, but um, there were times where getting a haircut yep. is traumatic, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize that. I just thought because he had big, thick, curly, great hair, and it hurt when you brushed it. Yeah, and I thought, sure. Oh, I just didn't like the yeah. attention. Yeah. But come to find out, when, when we went for that first haircut, and he had this fabulous haircut, um, the same hairdresser that had been cutting his hair since he was a child, he, she cut his hair, and I cried. We all Aww. cried. He stood up out of the chair and started dancing in the <gasps> aisle. He was dancing, and everybody started dancing. Oh, We're all dancing, wow. and I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how important this was. Yeah, yeah. How and powerful. shame on me for that, but I yeah, respect well, you didn't it. Know. Yeah. No. So he said, Mom, every time we'd go to get my hair cut, I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. And he'd always have us turn him around. He never wanted to face the mirror. Oh my goodness sake. So and I just thought shy kid. Yeah. You know, that's how he was. Yeah. But now, oh yeah, we look in the mirror and we like what we see. Wow. So haircuts aren't as tra they're traumatic. Yeah. So yeah. life is great. I have no issues. <laughs> you know, so many parents, I mean, you know, it's, it's such a tragedy for trans kids, you know, to be accepted in their families. I know. And all over the place. I mean, right. you know, it's in the public right. arena and so on and so forth. What do you think prepared you? I mean, how was it that you're such a cool mom? How, I don't you know. know. I mean, I was chosen. Just I was chosen. Right. Okay. It's, this is a gift. All right. I was given a gift. Wow. I was chosen to have this special t person in my life. Okay. And make me a better person. Wow. Um, open my eyes to the world. And if I had ever prejudged people in the past, I, I don't ever remember doing that. But it just huh. it broadened my horizons of, of how much more compassion I need in the world and how much is unknown that I didn't pay attention to. Oh. Um, and, you know, if we could help one person, and even if that's my child, that's a big deal. I'm not going to be on this earth forever. And if I were to leave and he had no help, no self-esteem, no um, education on, you know, just getting through life, I, I would have failed. And he'd be really alone. Wow. I, I can't live with that. So. You know, so many parents have to come out, too, and their kid mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. And you didn't seem to... Uh, from what I can tell, you didn't seem to have a problem. I mean, no. you know, that's pretty amazing. No, I don't like the word problem. Why is the, it shouldn't be a problem? I don't, you know what I mean? This oh, is not yeah, a, okay. it's, and it's not an issue. I can't right. find that right word. There's a word. Yeah, but some parents struggle yes, on whatever they struggle. the word is. It's a challenge for yeah. them to, to accept to and accept, embrace. Accept, yeah. embrace is, those are yeah. big. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I never think that way. So, so it's, just... it's hard for me to, re to think about how people feel that way. Uh -huh. This is the same child I've loved since the day he was born. Yeah. Same face, same eyes, uh -huh. same big heart. Yes. So there's no difference to me uh -huh. um, other than he's happy. And that's important to me. Was it hard for you to talk to other people? I mean, have you gotten any pushback as a parent? or Because you know, sometimes families face discrimination, too. This is true. This is yeah. true. It, there hasn't been, it, it's, when you balance it, there's less of that okay. than we have more support. I think the timing of his coming out is significant. Okay. Um, if this had happened 20 years ago, it'd be a different story, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I might have some friends that are, I have a lot of friends that are supportive, a uh -huh. lot of friends and family that are supportive. And nobody was surprised. Not nobody one was surprised. person was surprised. Not one person. They all had that light bulb go off just like I did. They went, oh, okay, that makes sense. It's like, oh, Everybody. Wow. wow. It was always there. But, um, but there have been a few. There's okay. a few. And, and instead of um, feeding them, 
uh -huh. and and you know arguing or discussing or explaining. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Just, no, I'm not going to waste my energy on that. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no reason for that. It's not. It serves no purpose for me to continue to try to. It's like fighting over politics or religion. I'm just not going to go there with you. Yeah. So I just dismiss them, and we just choose not to have. We say a little prayer for them and wish well, yeah, them well yeah, and happiness, yeah. and we're going to live our life. And you're not part of it now. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how else to do it. Yeah. Was that hard for you? It was is it, hard. Was it, it is hurtful? hard. There were yeah. just a few people. Just a few. Um, I was very disappointed. Very yeah. hurt. Very hurt. People that you think are your friends. One hundred percent. Have known you for a long time. One hundred percent. Yep. Since he was little. Uh, Not did, many. Yeah. Not many, but but very surprised on that. Did they actually say something, or did they just oh, start acting just, weird? Um, no, saying things like "We don't understand." I just don't understand. It just makes no sense to me. How can yeah. you? How can you do? How can you do that? How can you allow this? And oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of chastising mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. for allowing mm -hmm. Jacob to be Jacob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's when Mama Bear, Bear gets protective. Uh oh, uh oh, mm -hmm. uh oh, Mama Bear came mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, mm -hmm. uh oh. Yeah, no, that just doesn't work for me. No, wow. these are these are children that we should all be protecting. It takes a, a, you know, community. Yes. Um, and I need to be a part of a positive community, not a negative one. Yeah. There's enough. There's enough criticism in the world. We don't need more. Yeah, there's enough negative, mm -hmm. and we're mm -hmm. all children of God. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. We're, we're we're all here for a reason. We all belong here. Yep. This is our home. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So it's been a wonderful journey. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But I really appreciate you having us here to tell the story too. It's very oh. exciting. Well, this is what we try to do that um, from early on. Right. Just... And I know, and I feel sometimes I feel guilty that. We have it so good because mm -hmm. our life has been great. We've had so much support through the schools and the community and friends, and um, I, I've never seen or had any issues, nothing major. Well, so nobody, you know, kids can bully kids, mm -hmm. you know, if they're queer or transgender. Mm -hmm. uh, did Jacob have any? You know, Jake's, Jake, pretty, if he, if and when he does get bullied, he just kind of shrugs it off, and he knows to just, you know, eh, it does it, it. It might hurt for a little bit, but he lets it go. He's usually trying to, instead of explaining himself to death, it's better to just yeah, don't bother with him. Don't bother. And yeah. he has a really good supportive girlfriend. Yeah, who yeah. she usually sticks up for him when mom's not around. I know Morgan does. Yeah, yeah. And Morgan's she a good steps kid, up yeah. and protects yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And, and speaks his truth. Uh -huh. um, but it doesn't happen as often as a person would think. I yeah. just think that we, our journey has been very special. We've been kind of privileged, I feel. Mm. Um, I don't want to discard that there will be problems in the future, but as long as we have a good you know, support group and that we're there for each other, it should be fine. But um, he's done really well. He's in a, a small group in the classroom because he okay. has a, a learning disability that keeps him in a smaller group and the same group has grown with him all through schools and he's in college now um, and just as much support from the beginning to the end. The teachers when we changed his name and transitioned they're just like oh okay sure well what would you like to be called and you know just changed all the records and they address him. They were Jake will tell you that I'm the one that let it slip more with his old name than his oh, new name and he would okay. always catch me. Uh -huh. The teachers were right on it. But I said, okay, so you got to give me a pass. I've been calling you that name for like 18 years now. It's, yeah, it, you yeah, know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sometimes, slips sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, but no, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. But it's been, he's been very positive. He educates me a lot, my son does. Well, he's mm -hmm. pretty well informed. I mean, mm -hmm. we were just talking before we came on the show about, you know, South Dakota, our neighbor over there, right. uh, wanting to put healthcare providers in prison for helping kids, tr people transition whether it's hormones or surgeries or whatever. You know, and it's, it's like, barbaric. it's so barbaric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't believe that that's happening this yeah, time. Yeah, right next door. Yeah, he'll pull right up articles door. all the time for me. So we know the reality of his world. Yeah. Um, but I do hope the world, it, the world's been very, um, we're getting better as humans. We yeah. are getting better and more accepting and warm and kind to each other. But I, there's a lot of bad out there. Yeah. We're not. And at this time in history, you know, mm -hmm, the political mm -hmm. divisiveness. and Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, the GLBTQ community being used as a political fo football 
just right. to divide people. Right. You know, that started a number of years ago, uh, 2004 to be exact, when they started to talk about it wasn't the queer community that brought same gender marriage to the right. national scene. It was the Republican Party. I mean, right. but but that it was intended to elevate them, and, elevate them, mm -hmm. and fire up their base. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that's that's sad. Yeah, it it's is really sad because honestly, with Jacob and his friends, they just want to live normal and be like everybody else. They mm -hmm. don't advertise or promote themselves as that. Mm -hmm. They they want you to see them at face value and who they are. You shouldn't have to explain. Oh, and by the way, I just find that really it's it's sad. Yeah, uh, but they so they don't. They're just pretty chill and yeah, just want to live a normal life and not have to bring attention to everything and heighten it. There's times and places for that, and that's when he speaks up. And we definitely support all the groups oh, we yeah. can yeah. and get involved. But um, yeah, I wouldn't want it to be a political thing. Right, mm -mm. and that's what's lovely is that you know I've got to believe, and I'm I. I do believe this to be true. Not everything that I say is true. <laughs> but that your love and your acceptance, you know, has helped him to negotiate. I have some black friends, some people of color, and they talked about how when they were growing up as being black in America, that their family said, you know, people are going to give you trouble because of who you are, but you're not the problem. They are. Right. Right. They, they have something wrong with them. Right, they do have something have wrong with them. They have something wrong with them. And so that's how you learn those survival mm -hmm. skills. But you, st you still have to cope with how you do you get cope. dinged, how do you deal with the microaggressions, right. how do you deal with the marginalization, right. wh however it comes. And you have been, I mean, mother <laughs> of the year here. <laughs> no. Uh, no, truly, not at all. I mean, you know, I, you know, my profession, I work as a psychologist, and I see people that have not been accepted. Yes. And people that, yes. you know. It's so hard to and watch. And kids that, hear. you know, so, so many kids that are out on the streets, right. uh, a greater proportion are GLBT, mm -hmm. you know, because their families kick them out. They can't, they can't deal with it. it. Deal with it. I don't even understand. It's yeah. just yeah. I can't comprehend that. I don't yeah. understand it. Yeah. That makes, it's really about them. Yeah. Um, there's no issue. There's no problem. This is your child. They haven't changed. Yeah. They need you more now than ever, and that's why they came to you, Mom. I need, I need some help. I need a little more, little more guidance than you were giving me before. What can we do? Because this is new to me. Yeah. And that's what I needed to, you know, need to be there. Okay, let's step up my game because I'm still raising you. you yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're a young adult, and I have to, I have to learn these things. So we're learning together. It's been a really good journey. Well, you're in sync. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's you right. You know, it's always amazing as a parent. We think, well, we're going to, you know, help and teach them. Well, they teach us a lot more. I they think. teach us a lot more yeah. about ourselves, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it's been it's been great. I'm like I said, I'm truly blessed. Yeah, I was chosen. And it's I got to take that gift and yeah. I got to treat it special. Yeah. 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 It's precious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Is there anything that we haven't talked about, Jeanette, that you would like our audience to know? Uh, tips for parents, um, you know? You know, I, what, I don't, you know, there's just, I hear people say things like, what did I do wrong? How did oh, this happen? Yeah. I don't do that. Don't beat yourself up. This is not a thing or yeah. an abnormality. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. not. It's absolutely not. We're born the way we are and we discover who we are and embrace that. I mean, wake up, wake yourself up, get past those barriers and know that you haven't done anything or your child hasn't done anything. Society is what's doing things. Bingo. Um, and that needs to stop. Yeah. But we just need to step up and just love your child. Keep loving your child. Don't stop loving your child. Love them more. Um, they're going to continue long after we're gone, and we need to make sure that they can and strengthen others as well. We have to help each other out. Yeah. But I just don't, don't, you got to get that out of your head. You can't keep thinking about that because then that becomes sadness and depression, and then you're not a functioning parent to help your child, and that's what we need to do. 
you know, and you and I were talking about, I think, was it the Katie Couric show? Yes, and you you're know? right, it was National Geographic. National mm -hmm, Geographic, mm -hmm. and you know, we, we find transgender people all over across cultures, right. all over the world, even in the animal, probably right. the animal kingdom. But you know, it, it's a natural part of it life. It's, it's been happening for thousands of yes. years. And it's good that Marge mentioned that. If you haven't watched the Katie Couric special that was on Nat Geo, I don't even know how many years ago, but Google it. Sit down with your child, your spouse, your partner. Watch that program. You, it will blow your mind. Absolutely blow your mind and peace of mind as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how people that are transgender in other cultures are sacred. Sacred. You Absolutely. know, they're shamans, they're healers, they're they're revered. They are. You know, it's kind of like it's it's cool in the family to it have is somebody. Cool. So remember that yeah, yeah, you yeah. were chosen. Yeah. It, this is cool. Your child is cool. Yeah. And yes. Definitely. I'm, I agree with you, and I'm glad you mentioned that. I forgot about that. Yeah, and you and I were also talking about the research, and I can't quote uh, where it's from, but, but about how people have done studies, you know, of transgender right. people's brains. Right. And their brains are more like their um, gender identity. Their gender identity. Than their natal. It their, is absolutely. They are born with that. It is yeah. a map, just yeah. like your eye color, your fe everything yeah. about yeah. you. That is in the Katie Couric special too. They did touch on that and they show the science behind the brain. Um, fascinating. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So our right. brains are so. more in tune with our gender identity than our genitals. Absolutely, absolutely. It's amazing. so much healthier to be who they are supposed to be than to suffocate them being somebody they're not. Um, that's just poison for the soul. And Bingo. it's we need to stop that. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love what you just told parents. I mean, because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's not your fault. We blame parents for too many things. We do, and we blame ourselves for things, but yeah. I don't think this is a thing. It, yeah. It's a blessing again, yes. and you were, like I said, it's, it's, it's a journey, just, um, it's just the next step. We think that when they're children, it's difficult, but they have to go out into the adult world, and we need to pair, pair them and still support them. Yeah. Be there, just be there for each other, just love each other. That's all this is, it's easy. Love is love. Love is love. And you know what? We're coming down the home stretch already. <laughs> it's been so fun. You know I yes. can talk forever. Yes, yes, yeah. Well, Jeanette Lawson, thank you so much. Thank you for, for having me. For your willingness I'm to come on the show. Please to. And for, you know, revealing yourself to me, coming out to me, uh, introducing yourself to I me. I know. It was yeah. such a special. It was meant to be. Yes, it Absolutely. was. Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. It was meant to yeah, be. It was and meant to be. And thank you for that. No, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled that you let us be here today. Well, thank you so much for being here. And we also want to thank you, our viewing audience, and our crew. And would you join us in our signature I'd goodbye? I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Thank you, Marge. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.